Hey guys, welcome to this video. Today we are going to learn how to sum all the elements of the array. Okay, we use two approaches to learn how we can do this by the old way and the most modern way we have today in JavaScript. Okay, so here I have an HTML file linking and scripts, and I will do the code in this file. And after that, I will open this HTML on our browser with the live server extension of VS Code to download here also, okay? It's very simple and very useful. So, let's create an array, okay? I will do const array 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay? And we can create another for the sum. I will put the value of 0 and how we can sum the elements of an Array. We can do it by our for loop. This is resource that we have in almost all of the programming languages. And in JavaScript, you can use it with the keyword for. First, we create another variable that is our counter. We can call it ei with the value of zero. And we need to put a validation of when the loop will end here i will put when the i variable is less than the or array length okay so the loop will continue until the i reaches the same value of the array length and how can we increase the value of i with i plus plus here as the third argument of our or loop okay so here we are doing the loop and now we just need to increment our variable with the value of the array that we are passing by the loop now you can do this with sum plus equals array and access the index of the element that represents the loop iteration with the index we created here with this variable i so this sends the array for us we can log this the result of this sum here now let's see it on our browser just before we go there we need to switch our sum to a let variable because we are increasing its value here so with const this will not work so with let we can get our result here in our console log. Now let's go to the browser. So here is our value. In each iteration of our loop, a new value is added to our sum. And this is the sum value of our elements in our array variable here. Okay. Now let's use another approach uh, that is with the reduce method. This method is a new version of JavaScript, the ES6, okay, that has many methods of array, and you will see these methods on these modern projects, like with React, Vue, Angular, so probably you will see this approach in modern projects. You can do this with creating a new variable, like let sum2 equals array dot reduce and here you can create a function to reduce our array in one element so i will create my function here so in this function we have access to two parameters one is the result of our reducer we can call it sum okay and the other value is the element that we are iterating because this is like a for loop it will iterate in each element of this array so we can call i and now we just need to return sum plus i because this will do like this we'll add value to our sum variable and in the end we return all the values summed okay so let's console log sum to also and we can see here we have the same result because the operation is the same but with a different approach 
that we use here with the reduce method okay guys so hope you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe to my channel this is very important to me and helps the channel to grow okay so this is it for today see you in the next video